as far as your album, how far along are you? Maybe could you talk about a song or two that you can't wait for the people to hear? Like I said, I'm like nine or ten songs into it. Um, I've only worked with Malay, it's producer Malay, a friend of mine, and um, Tricky Stewart so far. Um, I mean, Tricky have a couple things. And what am I excited for the fan to hear? Um, You're talking about that song with Tricky, right? So far, yeah. I, oh, oh, Whip Appeal. Whip Appeal is crazy. Um, it's also another idea we started, Palm Trees. Crazy. I mean, I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited for him to hear everything, you know. I don't usually finish a song unless I want want it finished and want to present it, you know. So, I mean, yeah, like it's 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 it's, it's kind of crazy right now. Okay. Um, we were talking about synesthesia, but I still right. mispronounce that or not. But can you explain <laughs> what it is to people who are unaware of it and maybe how it affects you? Synesthesia, for me, I know there's a broader definition for that term um, but for me it's just tones tones you know provoking a color association if I said that right there's gonna be some some on the internet who's gonna you know send me a, the Merriam Webster definition of synesthesia and him but for me it's like when I hear tones I see colors and you know I guess that's cool and if, when you create a you create a process is kind of going um is that just a, another part of it or are you do you really notice it while you're putting music together i mean it's just something i've never been without you know it doesn't i mean i i i suppose my creative process would still be the same no matter if i saw colors or if i saw goats or whatever mm -hmm. it would probably still be the same or you know whatever so i mean it's just some some cool shit to say, I guess, you know, let people know that sh that the tones you hear have a color palette. Like, I, I don't, you know, it's just, yeah, it's one of those things. Uh, I guess lastly, what do you want people to know uh, about you as an artist? That, um, I don't know if it's about me, but I think just creativity in general, um, you know, just doing what you want is so important you know doing what you feel is is right and what connects with you is important and I know that might be you know cliche trite corny sappy whatever you want to say but you know um one of the coolest things about what I'm experiencing right now as far as people responding to the songs I wrote and what I what I decided to do is that it really is me you know it's it's so when people say they with it it's like they with me and that feels cool you know and um i mean everybody who's listening like and, and who listened and and you know i mean it's just crazy man like right. you know I'm, i i it's cool like you know and i i want people to know that i'll continue doing that no matter what the f they think i should make i'll always make what i want to make yeah. and what i feel is is the tightest uh i almost forgot too i, I liked your answer to this earlier but when you're working on this next project who would be that dream collaboration that kind of, you know, sky's the limit? Someone you respect? Sade. Uh, I love Sade. Um, obviously, it's not just her. It's, it's her and her and her two bandmates. Um, but, you know, that'd be, that'd be crazy. I mean, I, I was just saying some. Oh, oh, Vampire Weekend. They're sick. Um... Uh, I'm supposed to be working with, well, I'm, I shouldn't say that, yeah, but, of course. It's just MTV, you, know? you know, it's just MTV, yeah. but I'm supposed to be going to New York next week to work with one of my, like, most favorite artists ever, um, most favorite swag, well, yeah, one of my favorite artists ever, um, two of my favorite artists ever. So I won't say who that is. If I do a good job, it'll be in somebody's album credits. If I don't, then I'll never mention it again. All right. Any hints you can give us so we can at least do a little guessing game at all? Or? No. Okay. No, I'm not going to give any hints. Uh, no, no, I'm not. F 
that. Nope, I'm not doing that. I, I'm just, if it goes well, I'll call you and be like, yeah, it went well, and then I might tell you. All right. We're going to hold you to that. Bet. Cool. Awesome. Well, thanks for your time. Definitely. Thank you.